Um, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by getting a bit of yellow and I'm going to want a little bit of vermilion in there just to kind of, I'm mixing up my orange as I go and, and I'm going to start just by laying down a, a, a basic orange, okay, and I'm going to leave a little bit of white there because that will be a highlight and I'll leave a bit there as well and maybe just a little bit there. I might paint those in later. I'm making it up as I go along. Um, and you just want to kind of... Well, if you have a large brush, of course, you fill the colour in faster. But, you know, you, you take this practice. I keep saying this again and again. I've been painting for many, many years. And I just flick into these corners because... I've, I've done it for many, many years. I don't think you want to be too precious with watercolour. Um, I know people think that watercolour is just for children, but it's not. I, you know, watercolour is a really hard medium. Right, OK. Now, while that's still a bit wet, um, I will add a bit more colour, just making it more dense, really. Can you see what I'm doing? OK. And, and I'm just going to, while it's still wet, uh, drop in... A denser kind of colour in into kind of what would you call them the cracks or the folds um, of this pumpkin man. So it's kind of give him a bit of kind of three dimensional uh, feel. I think that's got it already a little bit, hasn't it? And then the you know so the white that I'm leaving there is kind of the light is coming. Through. The secret of watercolour, okay. <laughs> Is all the light is coming from the paper and it's coming through the colours. So you're laying down a glaze of colours on the top and the light has to come through. So if you have got a, a set of watercolours of any description and you've got black in it, throw it out immediately because as soon as you stick black in with watercolours, it gets really messy. Watercolours like to be really light and fresh. Uh, and if you can keep them like that, then that's brilliant. And if you're going to do any dark colours, do them right at the end. You can throw your white out usually as well, because you, you want to use these, the paper as the white. And that just makes it look more natural somehow. Um, and I think I'll, I've got to add a little bit of vermilion or something, I think. That, well, no, that's... Cri oh, I can't remember what it is now. Uh, <laughs> just to make it a little bit darker. I'm just going to put a little bit more kind of down the side there. And we put some up at the top there, just to give it that. It's probably gone a bit too dark. This is just trial and error. You just got to do it. You just got to play with it. Don't be frightened. Just have a go. And if it if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. You're going to do it again. And that's how we learn. Do not be frightened by um, by painting. You can't go wrong. You might do a terrible picture, but you'll learn something along the way. And next time, you won't make the same mistake. Right, I want a bit of green uh, up at the top here. Uh, it's going to be a kind of a greeny, messy kind of thing. Now, similarly, all these are going to be green. I think I'm going to want them to be a bit brighter. So I'm going to get a bit more green. I'm really messing up my yellow there, aren't I? Uh, and trail it all the way around. Um, yeah. What else can I tell you about watercolour? I love it. <laughs> I know. So uh, you know, you always think of the great artists splashing on, um, you know, oil paint on canvases, and that's real, real painting. That's what the real painters do. Uh, they do that because they're terrified of watercolour. Watercolour is actually the harder thing to paint in. You, you can't make mistakes with, with oil paint. If you make a mistake, you just scrape it off and put a whole lot more on and keep changing. And watercolor, you've got to get it right first time. So a lot of watercolors, you just wanted to kind of do little exercises to, to to learn how the brush works, to learn how the colors mix. Sometimes you want to let the paint dry before you put the next layer on. Sometimes you want to do it wet, like I did earlier, so it kind of blends in. So that's a nice bit of green there. Um, how are we doing with time? Luckily, luckily, YouTube 
it's letting us do 15 minutes now so this might, might be my first really long one okay now we been talking about shading the other day so I'm gonna have the light kind of coming down here I'm gonna get a darker shade of green and I'm gonna imagine where the shade will be so the light will be on the top of these arms and, and I'll just run that down the side away from where the light will be coming and that kind of gives a three-dimensional feel to it like that and like that and it can be what kind of, you know I don't know it, it's it can be quite forgiving at the same time because the, the paint brush and the, the strokes kind of do interesting things so we want a bit more like on there as well um, and we'll have kind of a brown sacking kind of oh, I don't know what you could address kind of body we'll call it a body let's call it a body so that's very basic kind of brown into which we can then again kind of drop a more intense colour and then that will bleed into what we put in already and we'll give, give us a little bit of kind of shading and shape to the thing like that and now oh, it's not plugged in it's not plugged in <laughs> now I'm going to need my oh, there we go there we go where do I plug it in what's that oh no I don't want that I need that I need, I need all these things I run out of plugs what's that uh, no I, can, I have I completely run out of plugs I don't know where to plug anything now. I'm going to smash things up. Um, what can I do? What is that? I don't know. I've got all sorts of things plugged in. I don't know what I'm unplugging now. Uh, now, here we go. I've got my uh, my trusty old hair dryer. I want this to be dry. I might have to. Here we go. Seven minutes. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes I kind of do that just to speed it up. You get a pool of pool of water that doesn't want to dry. Okay. Now, all the bright light is going to be kind of in his eyes. So I'm going to get some a very and just kind of painting at the top of the. No, in fact, uh, in fact, in fact, no. I'm gonna. Ch I've just changed my mind. I'm gonna have that's the light inside the uh, pumpkin. It's got a yellowy glow, but I'm gonna have the the the, 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 the skin of the of the, the the meat of the flesh of the pumpkin looking quite white. And to to bring that up, mm, no, I've got some green in there. Um, I'm just gonna kind of make it darker around the eyes like that and I'm maybe kind of just going to spot it to give it a bit of texture make it a bit spotty and then by, by putting something darker around where, where it's white then that will make that look even brighter uh, like that. so a little bit of darkness underneath there that will make that look and you can kind of You want something to look bright you've got to make everything else around it look darker this kind of does that make sense hmm um, and then keep kind of shading those bits a little bit of no my camera's just switched off uh, maybe I only have a certain amount of time I don't know right um, now there's going to be shadows here so I'm going to put darker bits I'm not using black I'm using a kind of a dark charcoal -y, bluey grey kind of colour and those that will just give you it, it, it kind of makes the top go over the underneath if you know what I mean does that look about right yeah and then that's a bit of shading there and then also we're going to want um, a bit of shading underneath here because the light will be you know come, come in there so the does that make sense like that okay what I'm now going to do I'm going to speed up and I'm going to paint all around it um, and that will 
kind of bring it to life. Okay, I'm going to switch off. We'll mix up a good load of background colour. Uh, there's no black in this at all. The black makes it look really dirty. Um, and and uh, before you start, and can you see in the, the loops, you get a good uh, kind of blob of water there. Well, dry your brush and you just kind of kind of sip the uh, the excess w w liquid off. And that, um, you know, keep, keep, keeps the shades even. Otherwise, it all gets a bit too dark in those loopy bits. Um, and, and the background then kind of brings the whole picture forward and starts to bring the pumpkin head alive. Mwahaha. <laughs> There we go. Right. Well, I made all sorts of mistakes there. I'll probably have put a commentary over the top. I don't know afterwards. Um, how do we just make this? I think if if I did it again, I would have left this bit yellow white. I think and done it the other way round. But uh, but that's the way it goes. And we can just kind of add a little bit of extra uh, dimension with some darker bits there. And uh, and uh, I seem to have lost some of the shading around there as well. Don't I like that? Um, and you could kind of just to make it look a bit more creepy uh, you could just kind of go around oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. kind of go around the edges and kind of echo echo the shape uh, as if it's kind of a, a shadow up against the uh, the wall like right that and just kind of echo the the, the shape like that um, and then you want to do lit that bit there, so that'll be kind of going like, uh, like that, kind of something like that. Oh, I'm rushing it, aren't I? Hang on. Um, so always kind of on the top because you want to have kind of a light coming up to make him look spooky, which is what I should have thought of before. So <laughs> if I was doing this as an illustration for a, a book or something, then then I would think, hmm, made lots of mistakes here. But I've learned various things. I've made little notes, and I will go off, and I would paint it again, um, exactly how I wanted it to be. So um, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> we'll we'll see how it all comes together when I edit this video. Um, let me know if you enjoyed that, and if you need to know more things. Uh, so keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel, Shoe Rainer Drawing on YouTube, uh, or visit my site shoe-tube.com. Uh, where you can see all my videos uh, through school filters and things like that. And uh, keep coming back, uh, keep painting, keep drawing, and practice, practice, practice! See you next time!